Hello, my name is Jacob Sotiris. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I am a previous car salesperson for anyone that is new here, and I am now moving into the digital realms, still for automotive, as I like digital and I like cars, and I kind of combine them together. And uh, yeah, so welcome to the channel. If you're new here, make sure you've subscribed. We're going to go through uh, one of the comments, uh, suggestions in the comments that I had the other day, which was all around the different roles in sales, particularly. There are different roles within service and parts within the automotive industry, but sales particularly, the different roles and kind of what they do. So I am going to use the experience that I have to tell you exactly that. So anyone considering the industry or the sales industry in car sales, I'm going to pretty much tell you from bottom to top exactly who you can be and what they do. Number one, the sales executive often known as a sales consultant, sales specialist, someone in that area. So a sales executive are on the level, they're, they're on the bottom floor, they are also probably the most important people in the dealership, so don't ever think the bottom floor means anything bad. Uh, just on ground level, so that is everything from making sure the forecourt looks tidy to selling cars and earning loads of money. I know lots of sales executives that are earning more than the sales managers because they're doing so well, they're so proficient, they're so effective at what they do. Equally, um, you've got to remember that you're on the lower basic. But uh, yeah, fundamentally, a sales executive is the person at the bottom selling the car. So you're going to test drive customers, you're going to take customers' details, you're going to um, love them up on a car that suits them, and you're going to do all of that work and fundamentally sell them the car. You're going to be doing the most important job in a car sales dealership, selling the customer a car. So really important role. You do often get trainee sales executives, depending on your experience. Often some dealerships will have uh, showroom hosts, things like this, which is kind of, it's not um, commission incentive driven, a showroom host, they're kind of just there. They'll also do some test drives, things like that. It depends on the outfit that you've got. There's lots of different areas. But fundamentally, sales executive, commission based, um, with a basic and you are dog's body, <laughs> but you also have less stress than everyone above you, which is nice. I know, uh, have known sales managers to actually take um, the initial kind of cut to go down to sales executives because they didn't want the stress of being a sales manager and they ended up being so good at selling cars that they actually earned more as a sales exec than they did as a sales manager. So less stress, more money. Me. So yeah, sales executive. That is the starting place before you move up to number two which is the business manager or transaction manager as they're sometimes known. Um, usually they're called a business manager, that's the one I'm going to stick with for now because it's the most commonly used phrase, but business manager is fundamentally not there to sell cars, however they are there to upsell products and services and finance, so they are there to earn some more money for the dealership. They are very, very effective at what they do. So basically a sales executive will schmooze a customer up on the car that suits them, a customer a car that they like ultimately and want to go for. Once they're happy, they now need to decide how they're going to fund the vehicle. So sales executives have a lot to do and often won't go into huge, huge details about how you can um, fund vehicles and they, you'll mention it but there's a lot more in depth that you can go in products and things you'll touch on products but you often won't really try and sell them to the customer that's when afterwards so the customer's happy with the car they'll then be passed to a business manager if you have them in your dealership and the business manager will take them usually into another room chill them out here's a cup of coffee and let's chat through and they will tell them in great detail because they're regulated to tell them in great detail the products and services that are available to them making sure they make a completely informed decision so there's two pronged with this one it is to earn the dealership more money because the more finance cases you sell the more products you sell the dealership earns more money therefore the business manager earns more money and actually the sales sector earns more money so that's the important part but ultimately it is also making sure that the customer is fully informed because if a customer is walking and saying they want to buy something with cash well maybe that's not the right option for them keep your money your hard-earned money in the bank and why don't you consider monthly payments and even if you take the monthly payments from that money in the bank at least you've got that for a minute things like that that's what a business manager will do we'll just give them different um, products and services and finance examples to make sure that the customer is fully happy and fully in the know of what's going on um, so that is a business manager Number three, which is the sales manager, the most stressful job <laughs> in the dealership. Um, sales managers have the world on their shoulders and also prickly things underneath their feet. So a sales manager fundamentally is in charge of the business managers and sales executives. The sales manager is making sure that they are both working efficiently. Because the sales manager does not directly sell cars, their commission comes off of the back of how well the people underneath them do, so the business managers and sales executives. So they want you to do extremely, extremely well. Um, so part of that is making sure that you're fully trained, they'll give you experience that they've had from working up through the ranks. But also 
also it's, it's about making sure cars are right so the sales manager will also be in control of um, how the stock looks how the stock's priced making sure there is stock uh, making sure people are on top of all the jobs that they have to do there are a million and ten things regulatory things fca stuff they have to do there's just so much that the sales manager has to think about and they are shielding the people underneath them whilst making sure those people underneath do as good as they can so the sales manager can actually earn off of all this hard work so um, don't envy the job sales manager is a tough tough job they need to be appreciated a bit more <laughs> in our industry but you can if you're very good at what you do in buying all the stock and pricing things right and getting the site busy and very good at keeping the people underneath you trained well and really hungry you can earn a lot of money as a sales manager so that's an important thing to remember if you're considering working your way up to a sales manager and then after a sales manager you get number four which is the general manager the general sales manager the franchise general manager it's it's all the same I'm, uh, a general manager somewhere is just cursed at me for saying they're all the same but fundamentally it's kind of the same um general manager or let's stick do you know what let's stick to general sales manager so general manager oversees everything service sales parts they're in control of that dealership until it goes up to board level so operations director managing director general manager oversees everything general sales manager depending on how big the site is that you're at sometimes they'll have um, individual people to do that so if you've got a general sales manager the general sales manager is um, basically they deal with all their They'll deal with everything from complaints and regulatory things and even in some cases court hearings if things ever went bad and went that far, the general manager's going to be involved in that. They're also um, kind of directly overseen by the people right at the top. So these people up here are going, you better make this dealership profitable. That's led on the general manager, uh, general sales manager, who is then filtering down all of that stress onto the sales manager <laughs> and goes, oi. We need to make sure we're profitable. So they'll work closely with the sales manager. They will, you'll never see them out on the forecourt. You'll never see them selling a car. You will often never see them leave their office. But that's not because they're... Mm, some of them are lazy. But generally, that's not because they're lazy. That's because they have a heck of a lot of work to do. As much as they're not moving around as much, uh, they have a heck of a lot of work to do. So they will be, um, as I say, doing dealing with all the anything that comes up from underneath but they're also making sure that sales manager is working efficiently to make sure the people underneath so they're kind of at that point so um, if you're ever looking to become a general manager general sales manager something like that you'll often earn quite a lot of money because it is a very stress driven job but um, you will earn a lot of money you are still performance based so you have your basic and performance so the performance is based on the people underneath you as with all the other things apart from sales executive so um, you want the people underneath you to do well so it's all about motivating keeping the fire is in the belly but um, making sure you're also doing things properly because the last thing you want is some paperwork to be wrong and it to be missed and then it be slumped onto a general manager's desk it's not a good day for that sales executive if that happens so yeah, yeah just make sure you work properly if you're anything underneath the general manager because they've got enough stress to be dealing with without seeing your poor paperwork on their desk which is going to get the dealership fined a million pounds that's not what they need so aside from that of course if you're looking into other avenues service parts they still have the same so you've got um, trainee technicians technicians senior technicians master technicians assistant managers assistant service managers it goes up same with parts so there's lots of different areas to and it's, it's exciting the industry is exciting because there's so many different areas it's not kind of you just here and you stay there forever and you die there's so much to do but it is worth kind of picking and honing so um, sales is the area that I was in sales is the area that I'm very passionate about and sales is just something that's what I'm going to talk about on this channel so that was answering one of my subscribers questions in the comments and if you have any questions about the industry whether you're looking to join whether you've left you're confused maybe you want to understand how something works I will try my very best to answer if I don't know I won't try if I do excuse me if I do then I will answer to the best of my ability and just give you an insight from the inside of what the motor industry is like so hopefully you enjoyed this video if you did I appreciate a like because it does a wonderful things to the algorithms apparently and also subscribe to the channel because every subscriber is like a little family member to me and it means <laughs> it's not. anyway I will catch you in another episode. I've been Jacob Satiris and thank you for watching.